Hi, and welcome to Type With Me. Within this episode, we will see what assembly script is. So assembly script is basically a TypeScript to WebAssembly. So WebAssembly is a binary instruction format for a stack-based virtual machine, right? So it's very low level uh, WebAssembly and sometimes very hard to go uh, further with. So uh, when you are familiar with TypeScript and you want to play a little bit with WebAssembly, this video will help you and learn you how you can do that. So this is the uh, GitHub repo of assembly script, right? When we go to the website of assembly script, you will see that we get more information about uh, assembly script. And assembly script compiles a strict subset of TypeScript to WebAssembly using binary. And it will look a little bit like what you see here on this website. And we will play around with it a little bit in this video. So one of the first things that you need to do is to install uh, assembly script. Next thing that we need to do is do an npm mpx as int, and this will give us the following files. So when we go and take a look into our package.json, we get the following files. And we see that we have three scripts, as built untouched as built optimized and as built when we then go to assembly and we see index.ts you see an example an assembly example right and it has uh, types e32 here this is also uh, tsconfig.json, which extends from assembly.json, right? The reason why we have here E32 and not number is that WebAssembly has special uh, number or integer values uh, that needs to be uh, used. And um, it's not always... Um, like that so um, when you want to know which uh, integer 32 or 64 or uh, float you want to have you can always check within assembly.json or find some information on the internet on the web page of assembly script right so npm run as built will do a build for us so you can very easily do that lot that as you please so you have web assembly studio so that's also something very nice to just experiment a little bit with what uh, web assembly and assembly script can do for you so you can just very easily create a new assembly uh, project here and then play around with uh, with this right so for example here do some kind of run and then yeah it will normally run but now we get a fail to fetch at this point so you see when i try to play a little bit with uh, web assembly and assembly script i had a lot of uh, problems so be aware that this is still in uh yeah they call it beta but i think it's more of a, a, an alpha version or, or state that they are uh, in right now so uh, this project still needs to uh, 
to grow, right? So thank you for watching. I hope you had something uh, to this uh, video. Um, I'm going to dive into WebAssembly for sure. And I hope to share a little bit more uh, into the future about, about this. Thank you very much and see you next time.